Thanks, Rance. Nah, you don't have to save that for me right now. <laughs> I am full. All right, I'd like to welcome to the show Mary and Ed, and they are with the Second Saturday Arts and Farmers Market. This is one of those places that I drive by all the time, and I never stop, but I will. Okay. Uh, it is just an <clears throat> awesome event. Mary, let's start with you. Can you describe to the viewers what they can expect from this? I sure can. Um, we are, uh, we've been around for seven or eight years, hosted by First Christian Church. Um, they're in Mandarin on San Jose. And we have about 50 plus vendors. We started out with five and we have really grown over the last several years. And we will have food vendors and bath product vendors and kitchen vendors and jewelry vendors and, and gourd house um, birdhouses. Um, and we've got drinks and coffee and, and anything you can think of, we probably have it. You know, it's interesting because we were talking before we were on air and you're next to Chuck Rogers Park. Mm -hmm. So I'm always there for soccer matches with my kids and I'm just kind of staring <laughs> over at the crowds and all the different yeah. types of vendors that you have there. So- you need to come see us. Yeah, exactly. Now that I know it's real. Okay, are we here, are real. I will do just that. So Ed, if you can, fill me in on the gourds. So this is Linda's Birdhouse Gourds. So for starters, where do you find the gourds? We buy them from a farm up in Georgia. We go up and buy them in bulk, bring them home. Uh, Linda came up with the idea of painting these, and she's a retired floral designer as well as a professional painter. And so what I do, my responsibility is to cut the holes in them, clean them, make sure they're all nice and clean on the inside and the outside both. Then she will paint a base coat on it. Then she'll put a uh, pattern on it, whether it be flowers or, or strawberries or whatever she wants to put on them. And then we put a clear coat on it, which makes, brings the colors out, and it also has a UV filter in it, so they're protected when you hang them outside in, in the yard. And that's what I was gonna ask you. So uh, obviously when they're out there, right, they're exposed to the elements, the sun, rain, and all that. So with the layers that you put on there, it makes them you know, super, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. repellent to any of the they're, weather, right? They're impervious to, to nature itself. And uh, we do team ones like the Jaguars, we also do Florida State Seminoles, my team, <laughs> and Gators and uh, Georgia. And we do a variety of types of flowers and a variety. This just represents uh, a segment of all the different ones that we have. Yeah. I invite people to come out and take a look at them. They're absolutely beautiful. And again, too, so the title, Second Saturday Arts and Farmers Market. So obviously it's the second Saturday of Correct. every month that you guys are there. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And then is there a website or you know social media or anything that people want to learn more yep. about it? So, so we don't have a specific website. We, we can be found on Facebook and it's Second Saturday Market. Um, our hours are normally 9 to 2 from September through May. And then in June, July and August, because of the heat, we stop at 1. Yeah, um, I know that. But that's that where they can sense. find us is... is and then what Facebook. about, too, if somebody wants to be a vendor? Let's say they are an artist. Same thing? Can they contact you for so, that? So, yes. Yeah. So there's the information on Facebook as to how to do that. We have a huge waiting list right now. Really? We have, 50, we have about 56 people on our waiting list. Um, waiting to get in because wow. this market has grown so much. Yeah, it really has. So, Again, when I see it on San Jose, I'm amazed at the amount of people and vendors. It's just full of tents. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. We're excited. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Right now, we're going to send it to Rance.